T is the uh, running theme in these uh, videos, I think. Talky! 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 This is a kind of unplanned, unscripted video. I put into Google myths about alcohol. I'm going to read some of those. I may read some of the responses, but I'm going to speak to my own research about this over the years and my own experience. Let's do that thing that some YouTubers do. No. It, uh, oh, the camera. Hang on. I think you're supposed to have, like, changed outfit. and uh, Yeah, okay. First one, simple alcohol dependency is a choice. I've seen and heard that statement uh, quite a few times. It's a difficult one for me because I don't quite understand it because dependency and choice seem kind of, you know, opposites. To be fair though, I think when people say that, I think what they mean is that alcohol dependency isn't real. I'm into my third calendar decade of struggling with this. I certainly never meant to be in any position like this or any positions I've been in and I doubt that anyone else has. For that statement to work, you'd have to deliberately try to become addicted to alcohol. I don't see it. Possibly in the very, very beginning, you choose to drink like anyone else, but that's about as far as I can take that one. Um, I think what a lot of people don't realise is alcohol dependency means you've got to a point, like I have at times, it's pretty scary stuff when your body actually won't function properly. I'm talking about the inner, you know, let's not get too, you know, horrible and graphic about this, but all of your physical functions, so not particularly to do with your mental state or anything, will not work properly without alcohol. So you're sober, but you're a mess. No word of a lie. You give up, you have a couple of drinks, everything's fine. Again, I don't want to get too graphic, but I had an experience. Thing wasn't working properly. Um, I'd stopped drinking. It had been a couple of weeks since I had a drink. I had three pints of cider then, I think. About three or four hours later, everything working properly again. That, that, that's a bad position to be in. When I've had too much to drink, if I get a good amount of black coffee down me, uh, I'll be fine in no time. You might feel better. And the same goes for drinking water, sleeping it off, uh, having lots of food. The science of it, however, is that the liver only processes a certain amount of alcohol over a certain amount of time, approximately one unit per one hour, which on average, for an average drink, whether it's a standard glass of wine, one pint of beer, a small shot of spirits or whatever, it's about three or four hours before that's dealt with. And I'll tell a little story about that. One has to be very, very cautious. A long time ago now, I was with a group of people. Uh, we were all together because they were experiencing the same issues as me. One chap, I think he was a fairly young chap, had been done for drink driving. He had been on a big drinking binge uh, one Friday afternoon from about four o'clock. Got absolutely paralytic. He eventually passed out at about half past 11. Obviously wasn't drinking after that. So 11.30 stopped drinking Friday evening. Monday morning in his car, off to work. Um, I think he got pulled because he was travelling 40 and a 30. Breathalyzed, still slightly over. Monday morning from Friday night. The point is you have to be very careful. People don't always realise this. The body works the way it works. One unit, one hour. He had an absolute blast. So obviously had about 60, 70 units of alcohol or something in one sitting. You will only be sober, fit to drive, fit to operate machinery, etc. Only pass a breathalyzer, etc. In the time it takes for the liver to process the alcohol, which you can mathematically calculate. Addiction only affects certain age groups. And I think when I've seen this myth before, it tends to be that young people are, are just drunks. That's it. It's not alcohol addiction. Mine started in my late, if not early 20s, and I was at my absolute worst in my late 20s and early 30s. You can spot an alcoholic easily by looking at their demeanour. Dishevelled hair, unkept appearance, well, fair enough, bottle in hand, covered by paper bag. No, don't think I've ever seen one looking exactly like that. I don't think I've ever seen anyone looking exactly like that, apart from like on TV. And I guess that leads to other myths. Can't have a job, can't have responsibility, uh, can't make important decisions. I have had some really bad days where, not exactly that description, but in the same ballpark maybe. However, you won't have seen it because I would be very aware of it and I will have stayed at home, probably in my 
bedroom. During that time I've always had a job, always had a home, always kept my bills up to date. Pretty standard life stuff in many ways. I have been in positions of responsibility. Never drink while walking down the street with a paper bag. Really. Don't know. I doubt I'd become alcoholic because I can hold my liquor. Very, very worrying statement, really. The ability to hold one's liquor may be a sign of alcoholism because it indicates the body's tolerance for alcohol intake. After a consistent and continued pattern of drinking, the body gets used to the same amount and starts to respond less to the effects of alcohol. So those who sort of brag about being able to hold their liquor are at greater risk for alcohol dependency, alcohol abuse and further medical complications in the long run. Alcohol gives you energy. No, it's the opposite. It's a drug. It's a depressant. It slows the body down. Having a nice big meal before drinking will keep you sober. Food in the stomach soaks up alcohol, but then the body still has to process that in the same way. You're just slowing the process down. Not as much alcohol will hit your bloodstream, hit and affect you as quickly. But again, the body has to process the units of alcohol in exactly the same way. I sweat out most of my alcohol on the dance floor. No, you don't. You don't sweat out any. You actually sweat out water, which will result in dehydration. Alcohol makes you sexier. I don't even know what that means. Do you have anything you think about alcohol that you want to know more about or want to see is true? Do you want to ask me any questions? Do comment down below. Please like and share this video if you found it good, if you found it useful in any way. Again, if you think it may help someone in any way. Who knows, I may have just said that one thing that means something to someone. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all the rest of it. Videos are every Sunday at 9pm. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. But he had been on a big binking, binking dringe. <laughs> but he had been on a big... <sighs> drinking binge. He had been on a big drinking binge. <laughs> now I've got through that. I don't know what I'm saying. I sweat out most. <laughs> Alcohol makes you sexy. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs>